In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this insane jersey letter reveal effect. And I'm gonna try and go a little bit slower in this tutorial. I've gotten your guys' feedback. Be sure to leave a like on this video. There's this part or this section in the music video where he shows his back with the jersey of Balotelli. I'm gonna cut it to about here and press command B to split the clip. And then towards the end, I want it to end just about here and then I can just delete the rest, the beginning and the end. If you just press command, and you select and just press delete. This will delete those videos. So we're gonna be sticking with Photoshop, uh, the Photoshop AI features to erase his Balotelli name on the jersey because we do need a blank canvas so that we can overlay the letters on top of it. So to do this, um, we can just export this video as it is, or if you have multiple clips in your timeline, just select your clip and right click on it and go to new compounds clip. This will just group that clip and make it its own. You know, you can export that one single clip. So you can do like uh, press okay. And then let's pretend there's a bunch of uh, other clips in the timeline. If you just double click on that grouped clip that we just made, this will go into that single clip and you can export this and not export the entire timeline. Go to file and go down to share and export file. Give it a name. The settings, we're gonna change that to video only because we only want it to be just a video. We don't need the audio. Video Video codex H.264 and then keep in mind the resolution. This is a 4K video with 60 FPS timeline. Press save. This will then save your video and export it to your desktop or wherever you saved it to. I'm gonna undo this though, leave it as a regular clip. So we're gonna rename this one though to original and we're gonna go into Photoshop and we're going to import that video that we just exported. Okay, so once you have Photoshop open, I am using Photoshop 2024. You're gonna click on open and you're gonna import that video that we just saved. And yes, you can import video formats uh, unless you have a different one, as you can see here, just click open and this will bring up or it should bring up the timeline right here. If you don't have that, just go to window and go down to timeline and make sure timeline is checked. So we don't have to add any layers. We don't do anything else. We're gonna go over here to the left here where you can see the tool bar. Yours might be like this or like this. If you click and hold on this Band-Aid looking icon, yours might be the spot healing brush tool, which is not what we wanna use. You wanna click and make sure you have the remove tool selected or press J, but make sure it's the one with the little stars next to the Band-Aid. All you're doing is you're simply painting over the area that you want to remove entirely, which is the entire name because we want no letters on his jersey at all. So once you paint over it, make sure you go over the edges as well. That's very important. And then when you let go, Photoshop's AI will automatically fill it in to whatever it needs to. So that looks pretty good. And you can go to the next frame by clicking this little next arrow next to the play button. This will move forwards one frame. And then you're just gonna do that for every frame. Paint over it, go frame by frame, if you have like some anomalies, like let's pretend we didn't get the full edge at the top like that, okay? Just to show you guys what will happen, it's going to look like this. And if that's the case, just paint over that area again. So kind of like that and it will fix it. So just do that a few times. Once you have your video entirely finished and you've removed whatever you wanna remove in this case, the name of Balotelli on his jersey. What you're going to do is leave everything how it is and you're gonna go over to these little lines over here and this will allow you to go into the timeline settings where you can then render the video. So click on render video to export this clip. Give this a name. I've already named this so I'm just gonna leave it how it is. You can then select a folder to where you want to save this to. I just saved it to my desktop. The way we're gonna be exporting this is using the Adobe Media Encoder setting. If you do Photoshop image sequence, this will save it frame by frame as an image. So we want this to be a video. So make sure Adobe Media Encoder is checked. You have to do QuickTime. Preset is animation high quality. The size is set to document size because that's the same dimensions that we exported our video from Final Cut Pro, which is 3840 by 2160. The frame rate, we want to keep that the same 60 FPS. Keep everything how it is. You wanna make sure we select all frames for the range. And then you're gonna click render and this will save your, your video to the location you chose. So once you've saved your video, we're gonna go back into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you what to do from there. All right guys, so if you're enjoying this video so far, if you could hit the like button, that would be awesome. Anyways, let's continue. So we're gonna go over to file and we're gonna go to import and we're gonna go to media or press command I to import that same clip. Here I saved it as video one AI. So it's gonna look something like this, as you can see, it's a bit small. So I'm gonna click on import selected. This is the video that I saved 
and I'm gonna drag that clip beneath the original, which is this one. We wanna make sure these are exactly the same. So your clips have to be exactly the same. So I'm gonna trim this because we don't need the, uh, the rest. So once we have the original and the AI version in the background with nothing on it, we're going to apply the Mrodo AI plugin onto the original clip. So we're gonna go over to the effects and we're gonna go down to Mrodo AI. Again, the link is in the description if you want to get the Mrodo AI plugin using the affiliate link. So this does support me and the channel. So if you do end up purchasing one, it helps uh, the channel out. So thank you. But anyways, you wanna add the Mrodo AI onto that clip, just drag it on there. You're gonna have this little uh, toolbar setting here. What you wanna do is choose a spot where you want to begin your animation. I want it to start where I can see the full name, which is like, 15 frames maybe, or I'm gonna do it at 20. So I'm gonna add a marker just to keep track where this is. And I'm going to select the letter B first. So make sure you have the brush tool selected. So if you click on this, it's gonna be the magic brush tool, which is what you want. And I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see this a lot better. So I added a marker right here, which is where I want to begin the tracking. And I'm going to paint over the first letter, which is B. So click and drag and try and get it as close as you can. So that's pretty good. Um, it's not gonna be perfect. You might have some artifacts like that. You can use the eraser tool. Just click on this. I'm gonna paint over that. There we go, perfect. Now I'm gonna click on the tracker button and I'm gonna track forwards. So right now the window's hidden just because of the way my screen is being recorded. But you will have a window that's gonna show that it's tracking forwards. Now if I change this back to fit, it's gonna track this. So it should look something like this. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna move the video AI onto the actual main timeline. Um, so I'm gonna drag this up and then I'm gonna drag the original one on top. And then now I'm just going to trim the top. That way uh, we're not trimming anything else. So I'm gonna zoom in here with the B already selected. I'm gonna duplicate this same clip. I'm gonna rename this one to B so I can keep track of what letters and what layers are gonna be called. So hold option on your keyboard and drag upwards to duplicate that same clip. On the new clip on top, rename this to the next letter, which is A, Balotelli. And I'm going to go back to the inspector window. I'm gonna delete the Mrodo AI. I'm gonna add it back. This way it gets rid of all the settings from the previous one. And then all you gotta do now is zoom in to the next one. And I'm gonna select the letter A, kind of like that. It's not the best selection, but it's close enough. So I'm gonna use the eraser tool. I'm gonna to paint in the middle to erase that. And I'm gonna track forwards. So here's the window that I talked to you about. Sometimes it's hidden just the way it's recording, but yours should look like this. It's tracking just the letter A, nothing else is in blue. And once it's finished, if you kind of hover over it, you'll see that the letter A is being tracked. There you go, only the letter A. And then you're gonna do that for the rest of the letters. So hold option and drag upwards on that second clip with the letter A. On the new one, rename this one to the next letter. So L, erase or delete the Mrodo AI plugin and add it back onto the clip. And then if you need to, you can zoom in. I, I don't really need to do that, just so you guys can see, but I'm gonna do the letter L. I'm gonna click on the tracker and I'm gonna click on the track forwards from this point here. And now it's going to track only the letter L. And there's 55 frames. So it's about a second and a half. So it seems about right. So that looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna keep doing this until I reach the end of the letter. So I may speed this up for the sake of the video. All right guys, so this is the last letter in the name of Balotelli on his jersey. So I did the process for each of the letters as you can see. So once you're at this point, you have all of your layers and all of them named correctly. What you're gonna do is change the output from merge to masked video. The reason we change it to mass video so we can see the actual mask. So do the same one for each of the letters, change output to mass video, select the one underneath and change it to mass video. So do this for each one. Okay, so once you're finished, it's gonna look something like this. And now we gotta change the uh, actual, you know, uh, settings for the uh, Mrodo. So this is the first one, it's the letter B, and you can see how each one works. Pretty sweet, we're almost done. So if you're this far and you made it this far, Comment down below, Mrodo rules, <laughs> and in the comment section, and leave a like, that'd be awesome. But change the output to mass video, just like we did. And then the smoothness, we're gonna leave that there. But for the shrink and expand, if you drag this outwards, it's gonna expand it outwards. So we're gonna do 0.50, and then blur, we're gonna type in 0.13. So something like that. So 0.5 and 0.13 for blur. 
And you're gonna do that for each of the letters. So under shrink and expand, type in 0 0.5. Again, you can adjust this to however you want yours to look like. And then blur, I'm gonna type in 0.13. This just makes it a nice soft edge on those letters so it's not so obvious that we cut them out. So we're gonna type in 0 0.50 and 0.13. So just do that for each of the letters. Okay, so here's our video with all of the settings applied. It's just gonna stick like that. Now we gotta adjust all of these a little bit. So I'm gonna go to the beginning of our video where we want the effect to start. And I'm gonna go forwards five frames because I think that's a pretty good length for this particular scene. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five frames forwards. And then the top letter, which is A, I want this to come in sequentially. So in order from left to right, you can do this however you want at this point. You can have them zoom in, zoom out. You can have them glow in or disappear, or you can have them have them go in at random. You just adjust all of these settings. So in order to do that, you just drag the first or uh, the second letter to A. So the letter A is going to be hidden until the fifth frame. And then the second or the third letter, which is L, as you can see here, if you press V on the keyboard, that will disable that layer. If you go five frames forward, so one, two, three, four, five, and you bring this all the way in, so you trim it to the fifth frame of this letter, it's going to be hidden the entire uh, length of it until it comes in here. So it looks just like that. And you're going to do that every single time. So five frames, move it in. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's five frames. And then one, two, three, four, five. The next letter, bring it down. One, two, three, four, five. This is if you want them in order from left to right. If you can do it backwards too, that'd be kind of cool too. But so we're kind of creating like a stair step effect. So one, two, three, four, five. And then the last letter is gonna come in around here. So now if we uh, render this really quick, the effect should look something like this once it's uh, fully rendered. And there you go, you have the name appearing just like that. And then again, here you can trim it so it comes in much quicker, but that's the effect. It looks super cool. And again, this, the background will depend entirely how you, you know, depending on your, your jersey, of course, but Photoshop will do its best to really erase the background. And again, you can tweak the timing of this. So if we were to do something like this, make it completely random. If you, they're kind of random like this, your video is gonna look something like this. So something, you know, another another way of doing it as well. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed this video. Go down in the description to my website, kingtouchpro.com, if you guys want to purchase and download free sample packs for your music video projects or any type of project. Um, it's going to be in the description along with the Mroto AI plugin. I'll catch you guys next time.